Are you wondering why car insurance rates keep skyrocketing? You're probably not the only one. In the last year, in 2024, just about every car insurance company has taken upwards of at least an average rate of 26%. That's right, 26% rate increase on car insurance. And this is whether you've been in a car accident, this is like, you know, just because car insurance companies are increasing their rates by 26%. Everyone is feeling this heat. In this video, I'm gonna go over five reasons why you're experiencing this, and I'm gonna give you five ways that you can try to save money and get a better rate on your car insurance. If this is your first time tuning in, do me a favor, subscribe, hit the like button if you get some value, and let's get started. The first reason why car insurance rates are increasing are the technological advancements that you're seeing in these cars. The modern day tech is very expensive. You're talking about cameras, the reverse cam, cars, it, it'll be a regular car like a Hyundai or a Toyota that has cameras and technology all around the car and features that allow it to stop for safety and so on and so forth. These cars and this technology is not cheap. And so every time there's a car accident, the body shops and the uh, the car manufacturers are having to replace some of this technology and it ain't cheap. And so because of that, that's the first reason why you're seeing this increase in car rates. The second reason is the growing number of distracted drivers driving these cars. And what you're seeing is, is there's no coincidence that the younger the drivers, the more the smartphones, the more these phones are just fighting for our attention on a daily basis, you have people that are distracted while driving. And that's not the only reason. You got people that are drinking, you got people that are smoking. The legalization of marijuana is contributing to more car accidents, and but mainly smartphones. You're seeing a lot more people, when they're at a stoplight, they're looking at their phone, they're, they're not paying attention to the road. And when you think about it, in a car accident, it takes one or two seconds where you're not paying attention to the road and somebody's causing a car accident. And so when you mix in, the number of distracted drivers with the amount of car accidents that are happening. The insurance companies are having to pay for these car accidents, and that means a raise in all car insurance rates. Whether you've been in an accident or not, that's what we're seeing is the increase of the smartphone users and correlated with the amount of car accidents, meaning higher insurance rates. The third reason is the rise in healthcare costs. And so because we're seeing more car accidents, you're seeing more people going to the hospital, more people dealing with injuries because of these car accidents. And when you mix that in, these hospitals aren't cheap. An ambulance ride to the hospital is upwards of 10 to $25,000. One of my employees was in a car accident. His, he had to get reconstructive knee surgery for his knee. And these surgeries aren't cheap. So when you mix in how easy it is for someone to get injured when they're involved in a car accident mixed with the quantity of car accidents that are happening, and then you mix in, here in Las Vegas, you're seeing nine out of 10 billboards belongs to an attorney, an injury attorney. A lot of times what you're seeing is when a car accident is happening, they look over, they see a billboard, whether they were injured or not, they are going to go after the insurance company and a lot of times, I mean, these billboards aren't free. So when you consider that, they're being paid for by the insurance companies because of the accidents, because of the rise in healthcare costs when you're involved in an accident and you're hurt. You mix all these things, all these things together, plus inflation. And that's the third reason why you're seeing a rate increase on your car insurance. The fourth reason is you're seeing a lot more weather related accidents happening. So if you're in Texas, you're seeing hail the size of golf balls. Even here in Las Vegas, we've had some flooding where cars are being submerged on certain sides of the town underwater. And just a, a lot of weather related car accidents are causing for these, these claims to be paid out, which insurance companies are in the business of trying to be profitable and make money so that way they can pay out the claims and you know still a business at the end of the day and so again when more claims are being submitted and paid out then premium is being received that's why the insurance companies are raising their rates it might not be the answer you like to hear but unfortunately it's just what it is you know sometimes good old mother nature has its say in the events that happen and uh, that's what we're also seeing with uh, the raise in car insurance rates 
And the fifth reason why car insurance rates are going crazy is the increase in vandalism and thefts in cars. You've seen it where a lot of insurance companies have stopped writing Kias and Hondas because somebody on TikTok dropped the video that went viral on how to steal these cars and there became a trend where Kias and Hondas from the year of 2016 or through 2021 or what have you, uh, they were really easy to steal. If I'm not mistaken, you could steal one with a USB cable. Just like that, we saw this massive increase in thefts, in cars being stolen, as well as vandalized. And so when you match that with everything that's going on and the increased inflation, money printing that's happening, body shops, mechanics, lawyers, all increasing their rates, all of these reasons combined in no particular order is why we have seen an increase of 26% in the entire country on car insurance rates. Now, now that we've got the five reasons out of the way, what can we do? Now we're gonna talk about five ways that you can avoid paying more for car insurance and hopefully save you some money to make it that much more affordable. The number one thing you can do, it's common sense, it is shop around for a better rate. Typically what happens when a car insurance company takes rates, there's not usually much that the insurance company can do to lower your rates, unless you're gonna lower coverages or unless there might not be an option. You might just need to shop around. The best thing you can do is talk to a local agent. You can talk to your local state farm, your local all state office. If you're in Nevada, Oregon, or Washington, or Arizona, I'm happy to help. They can provide you a quote. You can talk to an independent broker where they can quote multiple companies and carriers. And you can also get a quote from Progressive or guy can go online. Best thing you can do is to shop. Now, what I don't recommend is that you cut coverages or that you ride around with the state minimums because the last thing you want to do is be involved in an accident where you you will be put in a bad financial position after the afterwards. And so do your best to keep good coverages. And uh, if you shop around, you'd be surprised with what you may find uh, that's available to you. The second way is to bundle your policy. So if you have, if you have an auto insurance policy and a renter's insurance or home insurance, if you bundle them together, a lot of insurance companies provide major discounts for bundling. And so that is one of the most common ways to save money on your insurance policies. And so be sure you're bundling together for more discounts. And number three is to maintain a clean driving record, right? So just pay attention to the road. Maybe you're one of those distracted drivers and you just gotta keep your eyes on the road. Do whatever you can to avoid car accidents or being at fault in a car accident. Another bonus tip for uh, in saving money on your car insurance is to make sure that your credit is good. The better your credit, there's a thing called an insurance score. Every time you get quoted, they wanna see what your insurance score is. And your insurance score is not your credit score. It's essentially how often you're making your payments for your insurance policy and if you are a responsible payer. And so by having good credit and having a good insurance score, that usually means better rates for you and those who are on your insurance policy. The fourth thing you can do is to add one of those apps to your phone or some insurance companies have a little, a little machine that you can connect to your car. And ultimately by monitoring your driving, and if you're not driving over 80 miles per hour consistently, if you are not hard braking like crazy, and if you're not driving after the hours of 10 p.m. and you are a good driver, that can get you a better rate. That can get you rebates on your insurance policy for being a safe driver. Now, I know what you're thinking. A lot of people are like, I don't want them to pay attention to me. Uh, I don't want them knowing where I'm going and tracking my location. Well, unfortunately, your phones are already doing that. So let's just get over that because your phones already know exactly where you're at. They have more data on you than you already realize. And so just stop that conspiracy theory that an insurance company monitoring your driving is prying on your information. It truly is to get you a better rate. So if you're a safe driver, let's prove it. <laughs> and so... Hopefully you will consider adding one of those to your policies for the best potential rate and discounts. 
And the last thing you can do, but we don't recommend it, is you can increase your deductibles. And so a lot of times the average deductible has historically been $500. Nowadays, you'll see it more common for people to have a $500 or $2,000 deductible. That, of course, can lower your rate by a decent amount. Now, I would tell you that your comprehensive deductible usually isn't worth messing with. The comprehensive deductible covers things like you get in back into another car, you just backed into a wall, or it usually doesn't involve another car, windshield damage, um, somebody keyed your car, um, somebody backed into your car, they didn't leave a note. Comprehensive, it usually is very a very small amount that you don't wanna mess with. It's not worth having a $2,000 comprehensive deductible to try and save $3 a month. I think it's you're better off keeping that. If you're gonna increase any deductible, let it be your collision deductible, but ultimately it's still not something I recommend because you never know if you're involved in an accident and you need your car fixed, the last thing you wanna do is cough up a couple of grand to do that. That is the last and final tip, but so that is the state of the insurance industry. Unfortunately, no company is safe. Every company has been affected. Literally, no company has not taken a rate increase. It doesn't matter what state you are in and some states have it worse than others. And so that's just the state of the insurance industry. I'm hoping that with inflationary pressures and, and getting that under control, that car insurance rates will be a lot more affordable. You know, there's just so much going on between lawyers suing people and the, the technology in cars and the cost of body shops and mechanics. Like all of this cumulatively is increasing the rates of car insurance. I've also given you a few ways that you can potentially save money and, uh, and find the right insurance policy for you. So if you've watched this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value. Please give me a, a subscribe for all things insurance, entrepreneurship, and self-development. Until next time, peace.